Hey everybody, welcome to week four of our series, Unafraid. We're talking about busting through our fear. Nothing wrong with fear in general. We're all gonna feel afraid at different times, but things become wrong when we allow fear to control us. Most common command in all the Bible is do not be afraid, fear not, derivatives of that. In fact, it's in there like at least 365 times. So you have a do not fear, do not be afraid, at least one of those for every day of the year. So we're talking about not letting fear control us, uh, being afraid, but doing God, what God wants us to do. Anyway, so this weekend um, we talked about unafraid to follow and you saw Robert and I ride the camel. And um, I'll just tell you, I don't recommend that to anybody not comfortable. I grew up in Texas. I actually grew up riding horses. Horses, a whole lot easier than than camels. And just so you know, that camel spit. I don't, I don't think you see it in the video, but every once in a while you'd be standing in front of it and it would just toss you a little something, something, something. But anyway, we talked about unafraid to follow. And, and here's the thing, and maybe you remember this from this past weekend. Um, a lot of us think that we're totally independent. You know, we're not following anybody. We're a lone wolf. We're our own person, all that. But here's the truth. Everybody's following somebody. The way that we see life, the decisions that we're making are all coming, that worldview, uh, kind of the frame that we're making our decisions and living our lives in, that all comes from somewhere. And so this idea that you know we're on our own and all that, that, that doesn't exist. Everybody's following somebody. And here's why that's so important. Who you follow determines where you'll, you'll go. So obviously as pastor here at the church, I really want to encourage you in every area of your life to, to follow Jesus. Why? Because he loves you. Because he cares for you. Uh, our problem is not that we don't love God enough. Our problem is we don't realize how much he loves us. Because if you understood how much God really loves you, you would always do what he says. Be unafraid to follow your Savior who loves you and who gave his life for you, all right? We're all following somebody anyways. Might as well follow somebody that loves you. First question to think about as, as a group. Uh, where in your life have you been thinking, oh man, I, I, need, I need to do better at following Jesus? Uh, where in your life uh, do you think you need to kind of kick it up a notch? Talk about it as a group, encourage one another, and we'll continue the series talking about today unafraid to follow. Have a great group.